The Bloodhound supersonic car has passed a key milestone. The forces are heavily involved in the project to get the car to 1,000 miles an hour and we're on hand at today's first firing of its new rocket motor. Will Inglis was there. A Cold War era hardened aircraft shelter was the setting for this test. Inside a rocket motor so hungry for fuel it takes a Cosworth Formula One engine to feed it. The technology involved in this rocket motor is all experimental, and this is the largest model ever to be made. The Formula One engine is acting purely as the fuel pump to move a huge quantity of hydrogen peroxide out of the back of the rocket motor. Because it's experimental, there is a chance, however slim, that it could go bang. Yeah, rocket testing is always exciting. We've, uh, we've seen many rocket tests before. This one's very unique because in uh, most programs the development goes on in secret and then you, once you've completed the system you invite everybody to see the test. The Bloodhound's all about sharing the scientific and engineering challenge so we're inviting everybody to see the very first test. The whole system will work alongside the engine from a Eurofighter Typhoon to power Bloodhound to a thousand miles an hour. This is experimental technology we are pushing the technology really really hard and if we do break something great we'll know how to fix it because in a year's time i'm going to be strapping myself to this rocket so if we blow it up i'd really like it to happen today and not in a year's time it's a tense moment in the control center as the rocket is fueled and made ready And a project like this, of course, is just a succession of hurdles. And some of them you fall over and some of them you jump. And that's why we jumped. And we move on now. Despite a minor fire afterwards left to burn itself out for fear of damaging the equipment, the test is being declared a success. Will Inglis, Forces News, Newquay.